Yo, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. This is the only place you can find a wave. It's the wave 804. Hey, look, man, I'm back in my old stuffing grounds, man. Getting chills as being in this common room, man. Shout out to everybody that's from Union, you know what I'm saying? That's going to Union or did go to Union, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all know about the common rooms, man, people go in here, cut hair. Uh, people sit here and study. People like myself used to do interviews, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, Got one of the new guys on the scene, man. My boy Zay, you know what I'm saying? He f flawless with the camera, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, as a photographer and as a videographer, bro. No, man, thank you, man. And it's actually pretty dope because I'm really enjoying that. The um, It's people that's coming up, you know what I'm saying, that's through Union that's doing the same thing that what I used to do or what others used to do. And this is where, like, if you stick to it, bro, like, that joint is really going to go far, my G. For real, for real. Hey. And I'm eight years in, my guy, so you just got to stay with it, you feel me? But I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself, bro. No problem, man. Thank yourself, bro. But I'm going to let you go ahead and let everybody know who you is real quick. What's going on, y'all? My name's Zay, uh, a.k.a. Zay Dreaming on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Two Ys, no G. Um, <laughs> but now, nah, um, from the heart of Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, um, mm -hmm. graduated from John Marshall. June, yeah. <laughs> June, June of 2023. Um, even though we had like a couple things going on around that time where venue had to get switched, but you know it was still a good experience to be able to walk across the stage and say that and, and say I did it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So I got a couple questions for you, man. Is this your first interview, my guy? Yeah, definitely my. First. Hey, man. Look. It's always like this on the wave 804, man. So, first and foremost, again, this is your freshman year at Virginia University. You know what I'm saying? And as a student here, how is it? You know what I'm saying? Is it more so as, you know, it's, it's what you make it? You know what I'm saying? You can be a lit person. It'll be lit if you're a born person or a chill person. It'll just be that. Or is it more so as, like, is this a diff difference, a different atmosphere because you trans... Um, you going from over here from being a high school student to a college, you know, student now. So how is that for you, my man? I f for me, I feel like it's more so discipline than anything. Like, it's really it's really hard to fail school, really. Like, you just got to have discipline to know what you want, for real. Like, school and education, not just, like, Y equals MX plus whatever that is. Or, like, you know, there's certain things that you can learn from that, but it's like, Taking that and applying it to different situations and putting it in like different perspectives, like mm -hmm. like you can take things from school, but here at Union, it's really what you make it. Like you can be a lit person or you can be a chill person that's never leaving your room. Like it's really what you make it for real. Like and it's easy to get along with people, but you know you just gotta do it on your own. Right, you know? like, right. It's just discipline for real. Right, and then you gotta basically know who you are and yeah. ask that for that question. Did you, are you still finding yourself or do you already know who you are just by coming in to, to school out the gate? I feel like I, you know, I wouldn't say I have a com complete idea of who I am because I know like I still got room to grow and stuff, but I'm getting kind of like a big picture of what I want and, and kind of growing into who I am and what I need to be. Okay. I got you. So now you doing videography and photography. Uh, does that fit within your major? Like, what is your major at the school? Uh, mass communications. My dog. My dog. Hold on, broadcast journalism. Um, no, nah, just, just just mass communications. You just mass communications. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, man. But shout out to all my mass con, man. We here, you know what I'm saying? And you got to use that to your advantage. Yeah. But you being a mass con major, how does that work with you being a videographer, a photographer, and stuff like that? Or what does it teach you to be? A better person within your field based on your major I feel like the field of mass communications definitely um, like definitely contributes to like my films and, and videography and photography because I like to tell stories you know as I'm still like growing in uh, how to truly tell a story through my work and things like that like mm -hmm. I get to pen every every time I you know complete an assignment like I, I start reading it like okay how can I incorporate this into when I'm recording and taking pictures because like now I just pay attention to every little detail because every little detail counts when you're making a video mm -hmm. if you just think of something just throw it in the video like yeah. that's 
that's really how your stuff really gonna jump off. You use all your creative, like, right. you feel me? And the f- mass communication definitely helps, like, really. Mm-hmm. And it gives you, like, having, like, different discussions with groups and things like that, mm-hmm. it it helps you, like, like kind of put things in different perspectives and things like mm-hmm. that. Like, it's really helpful. I got you. So, uh, just just outside of this interview, if you hear R. Kelly playing in the background, and somebody freaky ass in the background, like, I'm so sorry. One of y'all freaky ass is in union. I don't know what is up with y'all, but come on, man. Come on. Playing Trapped in the Closet by R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You're sick. That's crazy. Sick. Or something. Man, something, man, because this is crazy work right here. I don't know what you're doing, but you better be having fun. Fuck, we're supposed to be reading a book or something. Anywho, anywho, Jose. So, now that you're getting everything that you need, you learn a little bit more about the mass com- mass communication field. And, of course, you're working on your own thing. How is it important to you to let everybody know about your brand? Because, again, there's other probably other videographers here, photographers here. How do you separate yourself from them because you want yourself to stand out and you want people to come to you f- because of your work? Um, mm. to make myself stand out, um, I not only, what? I said, got him. Question. That question got him. Yeah. To, to make myself stand out, I feel like I, I not only use my creative energy, but I seek help from others, not by just talking to them or just replying to the story like, hey, how'd you do this? Like I soak in like different things from different videographers like for example Dre the King he's also mm-hmm. a um a videographer for John Marshall like I'm not officially a part of that staff but you know I do consistently go to the games and then That's Stan you still get your work in yeah Stan yeah. he's really good too like he I love his work like I I incorporate things from both of their both of their work into my stuff and like I, I really get influenced by by their work being that they know the players better than me so it's like not necessarily taking stuff from them, but learning and paying attention to like the details that they put in. So it's like, maybe I can pay attention to those details Mm -hmm. when I'm recording too. And there's other videographers out there too. Like there's a bunch in Richmond that are up and coming. Like, Mm -hmm. and it's really, it's really cool to see the creative world growing because you know, a lot of people don't take it serious Mm -hmm. and they just get a camera to just take pictures or do photography and say, Hey, I'm a photographer, but they're not really looking at it in the photographer perspective. They just mm-hmm. say, "Hey, I got a camera. I'm a photographer now." And no, not to discredit them, and that's cool, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's just like different ways to say it. It's kind of people take it differently. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I got you. So when you so when you working, you don't mind working with other groups and stuff like that just to learn from them because you know a lot of times people like to build up their own platform before yeah. they start working with other people but you on the other hand you don't mind nothing no okay. no nah, I, I don't i don't mind working with other people at all like i said i know people want to create their own brand and have to build their brand their own brand first so mm-hmm. i understand that perspective of it but i definitely don't mind working with others mm-hmm. like at all i got you so with you being a videographer and also photographer again you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of perks that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? What these perks, how, what are the perks that come with it? And how are you able to remain disciplined because you still have things that you're still trying to achieve? And you can answer this to the best of your ability, my man. Good. Yeah. You look like you was like, oh shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that, I like, like that, that question. Yeah, I like that take question. Take your time, man. Take your time. So you were saying. Because I've been just there. To, just to make sure, you were saying. How do I stay disciplined by the you perks know, that I'm getting and everything? Right, you know what I'm saying? The notoriety and stuff. Okay. You know the stuff that comes with it when you have something that's growing and everybody yeah. is a part of it. They like what you do. So how do you remain sane while, you know, interacting with these perks or are you seeing the gifts that's coming to you? I just, like, I just dwell on the times. Not, like, on some, like, sad type of time, but I just, like, think about times where, like, you know, I... Like the opportunity was presented, mm-hmm. and I didn't know how to, you know, approach it and, and really get what I want out of it. But now it's like, okay, like now when I get what I, what I was looking at first in the situation that I wanted at first, as far as like working with other people and, um, like getting other things done in my in my videos and things like that. It's like I didn't know how how to approach it at first, but now that I've learned from other creatives mm-hmm. and like just tried new things, mm-hmm. it's you know. 
like I like I matured in the field. So I'm I'm still I still got a lot of a lot of room to learn though, like mm-hmm. a lot of room to grow and everything like that. Okay. So what are the opportunities that you was able to acquire since you've been doing your thing, man? Because I know you was talking about you go to John Marshall when mm-hmm. you uh you know you have time, you go out there, you still network and stuff like that. But is there any other uh, organizations or other things that's um, you're looking at or you're a part of that's helping you out in your field of what you're doing right now? Um, so like any other like as far as like. Places I've gone and things like that? Yeah, or? it's like, you know, internships, you okay. know, stuff like that. That's really getting you closer to where you want to be. Because we all know um, graduating college is no such thing as a guaranteed job. Yeah. So you really are networking so you can be able to have something. Um, so I, I just like, um, I just like. This damn music, bro. <laughs> no, go ahead, bro. <laughs> I just like kind of put it in different, like. Not necessarily errors, but different time frames. Like my first few times, like my first few times traveling somewhere with a camera, it was like through my mom, man. She was a part. Of, well, she's still, she's still like with him, but she's doing something with an agency called PHP Agency, and they do things handling financial needs and things like that. Mm-hmm. So you can contact them for anything like that. Um, but. You know, the first the first place I went to was Dallas, Texas. I forgot. No, I think it was Louisville, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I met Patrick Beck David. Um, like I got to talk to Tim Tebow for a couple oh, seconds. Hard. I got a video I just posted with him not too long ago. Oh, that's hot. Um, I got to eat at Churchill Downs. I got pictures of that still. That's tough. Um, but it was just the experience of being around those people. It's kind of like, hey, like I'm getting financial advice, but also taking in like how they carry themselves and and how their mindset is, but after that, it's like, when I got back, it's like, okay, like, I really just traveled here, and it was that was my first time ever getting on a plane, and that was in, like, 2021, 2022, mm. um, but after that, it was like, okay, cool, because the first time in Louisville, when we went to Louisville, Kentucky, we, we drove, and then, like, the last trip I went on was, we went to Las Vegas, and we stayed at the MGM Grand, you know, with the casino on the bottom, people smoking cigarettes, mm-hmm. all that. Like, they had, like, four pools, Lazy River, all those types of cool things. But it was definitely a vibe out there. It was hot, though. Yeah. It was hot. But, like, just experiencing those different situations and maybe places I, I'm going to visit again or maybe even twice as better, you know, maybe be able to, maybe be able to take my family there with me, too. Mm-hmm. So just kind of taking it in like hey like I know I can get to this point but I got to be able to work on myself and do things on my own right and know how to have that type of discipline and respect for myself to accomplish the goals that I want mhm and you already have your uh goals and everything set out for you too yeah. like you already know like you written yeah. it down and everything well you don't have I, to share anything well but. I haven't like written anything down but like kind of like embedded in my mind like I know I like I'm like hey like I want this in the future like mm-hmm. I want to be able to get this from my mom I want to be able to do this for my community I want to be able to give this back I want to mm-hmm. be able to you know just help out people who helped me out during the process of me getting to the point that I'm going to get to mm-hmm. I'm sorry uh, this is my I'm sorry, this is the, I don't know who over here listens to R. Kelly, but they really listen to the whole episodes of Trapped in the Closet. I think this is the one where the, the uh, old lady came to the door with a spatula because she heard what happened. Let's see the spatula in her hair. But, um, dude, man, you really have a lot of stuff that's going on for yourself. You focus, you're really aiming to really get where that you really want to be, and you're taking the necessary steps. To be able to get all this done Now as a past college student I know the effects of Being caught up and just Being in the college life Parties, all this other stuff uh, This outside of what We're really trying to do You know when you go out And you have fun or whatever Because you're supposed to have fun That's your you know your downtime and what not um, is there something that you kind of kind of remind yourself like you know I got to be mindful of what I do and how I do it you know what I'm saying because again you still are developing a brand that one day that you want to be able to have X amount of dollars net worth of you know what I'm saying because 
you know, far as social media is only going to get further, further, further later on in life. So, you know, how are you still having fun, but you still know it's like, all right, cool. That's I know what my stopping point is. Yeah. Um. So as far as uh like having fun, I guess you could say like yeah. I kind of like like when I'm working and things like that. When I have not necessarily working, but like when I have different bookings and different shoots that I gotta go to and things like that. Mm-hmm. And as far as like that, I incorporate that by uh, you know kind of reward myself with you know going out somewhere to eat or. Might maybe get some VC for my 2K player or something like that. I know uh, y'all might get on me for that or something like that, but yeah. it's cool. Everybody buy VC, yeah, but yeah. you know. Anyways, <laughs> shout out to 2K. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But like, I just I don't know, man. Like, kind of had a brain fog. Hold on. No, nah, it's all right, man. No, it's, it's 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 definitely all right, man. You yeah. just gotta take your time. You you might got a lot of stuff going on, yeah. or you might be smoking that good stuff. That's all it is. No, that's all right, man. Yeah. But uh, just to kind of reiterate, I got you. So just to kind of reiterate, you know what I'm saying, what I was asking. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry. But how can you switch from R. Kelly to the baby? I don't know. You knew. I'm sorry. You knew new motherfuckers is different. I'm so sorry. But, um, like you know you have to be disciplined well i mean we all talk, we already talked about discipline but it's like the things that you do you know what i'm saying you want to live your life have fun have a good time and you know what i'm saying you want to have that experience but at the same time you know it's going to be a time where all this shit is going to come to an end yeah. and when you graduate my one of my worst fears was to graduate and i ain't do anything with my degree or do anything that I really wanted to while I was here. So, you're going to graduate and you're going to get some debt. If you're not on no scholarship or anything else like that, well, you say you on a scholarship, shout yeah, out to you. Full academic scholarship. Yeah, full academic scholarship, man. Hey, brains go further. Um, you don't want to just graduate and you don't have nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? So, with that, when you go out there and you party, you know what I'm saying? Do you have a limit? I ain't gonna lie, like I don't, I don't party. You don't party. I don't. You don't, don't party. I don't. Like I don't. The only time I step foot in the party is if I got my camera and I'm working. I got you. I don't. I don't do parties for real. I rather just kick my feet up at home and not home, but kick my feet up at my dorm and right. at the crib. Right. Well, I mean, it's your house. Crib. Yeah. yeah. And just like play the game, chill, get some good food, you know, vibe out, mm-hmm. listen to some music, mm-hmm. get on TikTok for a little bit, yeah. maybe edit or something. But yeah. It is what it is. I got you. How's the editing process for you, bro? Because I know that shit can be like a drag sometimes. Yeah. Like, sometimes you could really, like, be bullshitting. Like, y'all yeah, know I was supposed to have this shit done by this time. But, man, it's been three days. I still haven't had this yeah. day yet. You know what I'm saying? That just could be a drag, man. So, how was that with you, man? How you able to kind of, like, overcome that? Or is there some uh like certain rituals that you do like you know you may like listen to some music you know saying smoke or something like that like what helps you get over those um those those dragon times when you got to edit um i just what helps me get over those dragon times when i edit like it's like okay like i said boundaries for myself it's like okay if i'm going to drag it like this i'm gonna at least get this done mm-hmm. and then tell them you know communicate with them like hey i still gotta get this done you know i'm gonna push it back to maybe tomorrow at like 3 p.m or tomorrow at 5 p.m because you know when i got my mind focused on something i'm gonna you know like i'm gonna get the edit done mm-hmm. but i just you know sometimes like when i got different shoes and things going on it gets like kind of juggling issues but like it's all good. Like I still like get it done. Mm-hmm. But that's what's up, man. You gotta you gotta stay focused. Um, uh, cause I can say, man, you could be in this joint having such a good time, man, and like you you really see people don't come back to this shit, bro. Yeah. They it really take them one semester, like for real. But that's why I really encourage everybody for real. If you have something that you really want to do, and you're at school, you in college. Take that time to really network. Like, of course, go to, go to class, do all that. But network, network. You can get a job based on somebody you just know from school. 
Facts, real deal, real spill, like for real. Cause at the end of the day, if you're the type of person that care about your responsibilities and everything else like that, that world man don't care about nobody, and it will pass you if you ain't got your shit together. But that's just an old head moment, bro. You ain't, you ain't got to worry about that right now. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about that right now. Um, who was so? What were certain people that you work with while doing your videos of or uh, photography, or is there anybody that you would love to work with while doing your job? Um, like I said, Stan Drady King and also Karish Jaron on mm-hmm. Instagram. Um, he actually when I moved back over Northside, he actually took my first my like the first. Like I guess you could say professional picture of me mm-hmm. on the camera that I actually noticed because of course I got him like when I was younger, but, right? You know, like he took the first picture of me of me and I remember it was Tutu. Um, Ju- I think Justin Lewis. He okay. played for Mercer. Um, he played for John Marshall when he was in high school. But okay. He introduced me to the league he was playing in and he played in the ABA and I think he was playing for Richmond Elite mm-hmm. at the time and he was like, you know, you should come out to the game and I did like a little halftime challenge and like I said, Kareem Jaron, he took a picture of me, Tutu sent it to me and I'm like, dang, I like this. Mm-hmm. And like, like I like ever since then, like I've always like seen pictures of like not only myself playing basketball, but others and mm-hmm. like. It was just like, okay, cool, this is, like, fun. But, like, once I got deeper into photography, like, I kind of just dwelled on, you know, like, yeah, I had the opportunity to maybe play basketball or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I still stick with it by taking pictures for people that I know, like, I've played against or played with, people Mm -hmm. that maybe handed me L's by 50 or something Mm -hmm. like that, or maybe even people that I've beat, you know. But it's, like, just kind of resorting back to – you know, community and and where I started from that kind of keeps me going. Mm-hmm. And you know, I just I just strive off of starting where I came from and then kind of branching out to bigger brands. Um, but Carice Jaron, like he he's helped me with a lot of stuff. Like Stan, also you know, like I like just the drive of Jada King as well. Like he 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 gets things done. Stan too. Like everybody that I mentioned gets things done. Like. And they do such great work. Um, but those have been, like, the most three influential people. And also my brother, he does, like, photography and makes beats. His name is – his Instagram is Zay Snap, But, mm-hmm. like, he really kind of got me influenced into it. Like, when I was a freshman in high school and he was, a, uh, I think, junior, mm-hmm. um, like, he was on photography for the school. And then he was DJing at one time. So I get the camera and take pictures of him while he DJing and then take pictures of the school events. Mm-hmm. And I, like I got all the pictures in my story archive on my um, on my main Instagram, but mm-hmm. it was just like that experience, like realizing that I got that done, and, re- and that was really like my starting point. Like mm-hmm. I just kind of like like dang, like I started from there, and I've already like not even thinking about where I am now or how far I've came now. Like I didn't know how I, I didn't know I would get these things done. I didn't know I would be presented with these different opportunities that I've been presented and been able to take on so Mm -hmm. it was just amazing to see like what God has got in store for you amen he gonna take you on a rough ride man but it's gonna be well worth it trust me trust me believe me what is the end goal man or what is the goal for yourself in life man what's the major thing that you're trying to accomplish with yourself give back what I've gotten in my process of getting to not necessarily my peak, but like trying to reach the highest point, mm-hmm. like giving back what I've gotten throughout the whole process. Mm-hmm. That's uh, like I, I want to give back. Like a lot of people gave to me, like helped me out in so many different ways. Like people don't understand. Like it, it, man, it's been a rough ride. Like. Y'all, y'all wouldn't even know. Like, nah, I ain't even got like, like it, it's been a rough ride. Like, for real. Like, but just the process of having, knowing that I got people by my side. Mm-hmm. Like, just having people helping me. It's like, dang, like I'm in this situation now. They're in that better situation than me. Yeah. And I know I'm gonna reach that point, and I know I'm gonna reach that point in life where I'm able to give back 
and being that same predicament where they're able to give back to people that are contributing to them. So it's like, I want to be able to give back mm -hmm. for real, for real. Like, like I want to help who helped me. Mm -hmm. One last question for you, man. If there's one word to describe who you are, what would it be and why? Real. Mm. Um, real. Um, you know, I try to present my my authentic self and in, in, in the most, like, respectful and presentable way. But I know sometimes, I, you know, people have moments where they slip up and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know... Just real, you know, I try to keep it real with people like 100% of the time because, you know, honesty and respect is what's going to get you the farthest in life. Because mm -hmm. if you, if you like not blurting out the truth to somebody or if you got something going on in a situation where you, mm, where you, um, where they ask you a question about like you're working something, you just like lying, knowing that you can help them out and later on in the road, they can be like, okay, hey. You know, they help me out and shout out to them, such and such. And they may get to a point where that can get you a lot of followers or, mm -hmm. or gain you a lot of interest. So it's just, you know, helping out, um, being real with people, you know, honest. You know, I know the truth hurts sometimes, but, you know, and, you know, I got like, even though I don't want to say the truth, I still got to respect the truth and tell it what it is. Right. You know, at the end of the day. I was gonna, that's just gonna present better a better situation for myself and put not only myself in the best mindset and situation as well as you know improving the other person. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's just being real, honestly. Zay, man, I want to say thank you for being on here, man, for being a part of something that I always wanted to do because this is a form of giving back to me. You know what I'm saying? We both union. You know what I'm saying? Mass communications, camera work, you know what I'm saying? Working. Because, again, I'm just want to show you that, bro, you can go as far as you want to go as long as you want to take yourself there. Yeah. But you got to want to see it. You got to want to see yourself going there, though. Yeah. You know, before you can take yourself there. And a lot of things is going to change along the way, bumps and bruises. Just know you don't always have to be accessible to people for people to know who you are. And sometimes it's always good to be heard, not seen. You know, Definitely. you know, but just keep doing your work. But let everybody know where they can follow you on all social media platforms, bro, so they can stay uh, updated when you drop something. They can see it. Um, Zay Dreaming, Z A Y Y D R E A M I N on Instagram and TikTok. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two platforms I'm working off right now. But I'm mainly on Instagram, trying to build that platform there and branch out to mm -hmm. other situations. And then I got a YouTube as well. Same. Same name, um, same channel name, like Zay Dreamer Two Wise. Mm -hmm. You know, just subscribe. You know, follow. You know, it's time to grow up. Mm -hmm. And um, one more thing: is there any other content or anything else you're gonna do uh, outside of the uh, basketball, sports, and stuff like that? You gonna do anything on campus, like the little fun stuff that they be doing on YouTube, or are you just gonna kind of stick to what you're doing? I really wanna. Um, I'm doing grad shoots, and I want to get more into portrait work and creative, you know, uh, creative outdoor shoots. So, you know, I'm gonna be stay stay tuned because I'm gonna be posting a lot about that kind of that kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna be posting deals and, and throwing deals to y'all. So y'all just gotta pay attention. You yeah, better watch that too. Yeah. And also, I just noticed, man, the level of music just changed. They just got real softer. Yeah, they ain't that back then being freaky, man. Yeah. Being definitely being freaky, man. A <laughs> uh, 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 mixed signal freaky, man. The dead ass, because he's playing some he's playing some shit. But anyway, man, y'all go ahead and find my boy Zay, man. Hey, I want to say shout out to my boy for letting me do this Thank interview, man. Thank, Thank you for letting me conduct this. And again, I wish you nothing but the best of work, man. You always got my number. If you need me, just hit me. But we got some fun stuff that's definitely going to be dropping for this year, too, man. He's only but a freshman, so he got a couple more years. And when he get up there, man, y'all y'all going to know. This is first interview, and then you're going to have about 10, 20 more after this joint. Yes, hey, watch this. Watch, watch how niggas work, man. Truly. Well, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Jeff. Cool boy Jeff. The Wave 804, man. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Stay updated on all videos that drop on this channel. Hey, look. We about to hit 9K subscribers, man. And all, after that, finally hit 10K. So we're about to get to it, man. Yes, sir. But... 
I'm out this joint, man. I'm finna smoke. Peace! Oh, man. It's the way. <laughs>